Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I've been a collector all my life. When it comes to collecting, I live my life by the three C's. Is it cool? Is it collectible? And is it cheap? So come join me as I look to add more to my collection. Welcome to the hunt. Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome back to another episode of the hunt. Today we are in the Newport, Kentucky area and we're just randomly driving by and we found this place called Earth to Kentucky. Looked them up. Looks like they got a bunch of retro stuff here. Stuff that's in my wheelhouse right up my alley. And I love this because this is just not planned at all. Just driving by and found this place. All right, let's head on in to Earth to Kentucky. You can see already they got a giant Colonel Sanders samurai bro pod on the side, which I guess is like the mascot of Earth to Kentucky. Oh, and check this out, the creature. Yep, this is definitely going to be our kind of place. Oh, you know this place is going to be awesome. If they got dinosaurs attacks cards, that's awesome. And as you can see, Earth to Kentucky is more than just a retro nostalgia shop. This is a place for art. As you will see, they've taken pop culture with sci-fi and just combined it into some of the most unique toys and art prints that you will ever see. I gotta say, this is probably one of the most unique shops we've ever been into on the hunt. And it's pretty wild too, cause it's like sandwiched in like an old German type of like a uh, little area of town here in Newport, Kentucky. Oh, spooky! Oh, and check out that E.T. in the background, too. The Doctor Doom poster. God, I love this place. And oh, you know they're going to have some comics here, too. And I got to say, this is probably my favorite section in the store. This is the bootleg toy section. And I got to say, this is just so impressive. Like, all these bootleg toys that exist here. And just, like, the unique concept that was put into them. It's just, this is stuff you're not going to see anywhere else and all of this stuff what's cool about it it's all for sale like everything here at earth to kentucky is for sale except i think et and the creature because they totally would have came home with me Oh, and here she is. It's the infamous Colonel Sanders Gaijin robot. Like, I guess this thing is actually legit for sale. But make sure you got at least three grand on you. But I mean, hey, it is the mascot here at Earth to Kentucky. Oh, check out that Ronald McDonald uh, lunch bag. I had that when I was a kid, man. Oh, and here you can see they got some local Kentucky merch uh, throughout the years as well. And what is that up there? <laughs> this place is so freaking cool. Oh my God, look at the Teen Dream sign down there. It's got like a bunch of fat guys in pop culture. I love it.
All right, let's head on into the back room here at Earth to Kentucky and see what all they have. And oh my gosh, got even more bootleg toys. This is so freaking cool. And, oh, check out that artwork. That 89 Batman stuff is cool. Oh, and I love how they mix, like, some of the original art with, like, just a bunch of retro old-school stuff. Like, check out that Roddy Piper poster. And, oh, wow. A Hulk Hogan backpack from back in the day. Fuck you, Terry. Wow, and they got some old CDI disc. And oh, is that a Where's the Beef trash can? Wow, this is totally from the 70s and 80s, and I'm here for it. Look, they even got Fantastic Voyage on CDI. There's a Space 1999 game, Planet of the Apes on CDI. That's freaking amazing. Oh, and it's the Barely Human Toys. Look at these crazy pieces of art. Okay, is that like a Mickey Mouse Rambo Weapon X figure? That is sick. <laughs> oh my god. I've seen it all now. Wow. Ooh, now we got a little spooky corner. Now we're talking. Oh, and I love this Earth to Kentucky poster. That artwork is sick. They've got some shirts here at Earth to Kentucky as well. Let's check them out. Most of them are Earth to Kentucky's own merch, which you love to see. Ooh, look at that Godzilla artwork. I'm in love. Well, I got some decisions to make here at Earth to Kentucky. Let's see what I walked out with. Holy crap, for just driving by and seeing this place, this place was incredible. I loved it. Was not what I was expecting. Like, how cool was it to see all that original artwork there and for sale? Very original. So freaking cool. You've got to check this place out if you're in the Kentucky area, the Cincinnati area. This place was everything I wanted to be and more. But as we always do here on the hunt, didn't walk out empty handed. Oh no, got a little something something. Let's check it out. First up, got a relic from my childhood. I saw this, I had to have it. My Ronald McDonald lunch bag pail. I had this at a Happy Bill. I haven't literally thought of this thing in probably like 30 plus years. Pick this up today and I'm gonna start packing my lunch in it. Not gonna lie. And also saw this and was like, wow, check this out. It's Topps Pee Wee's Playhouse Fun Pack. So this isn't just your typical pack of cards. There is a sheet of tattoos, three picture cards, a sticker, a wiggle toy, and an activity card. Do we open it? I, th I think we should. All right, here we got the Pee Wee's Playhouse Fun Pack. I've, I remember these as a kid, kind of. But I, just, I don't remember how, like, cool, like, all the cool stuff it comes with, though. I just remember mainly, like, trading cards. So, 
This is so unique too. And notice you got the Tops logo. I love how you get the Pee Wee Herman motif. This come out in 1988. In fact, look on the back here. Herman, I don't know if you can see there. Herman Toys Incorporated. So Paul Rubens was very hands-on with these. These are super cool. Like this may be the funnest pack of cards I've ever opened up. So let's go into it. I almost don't want to open it just because of the should have bought one to open and one not to, but we got to open this nonetheless, so here we go. Ah, let him breathe for the first time since 1988. Let's see what we got here. Well, first up, it looks like we got the, the tattoos. Playhouse tattoos. Uh, we got uh, a peewee and we got... Um, Check it out. Mm. It's a uh, Pee Wee. I don't see Terry, but we got uh, Randy here. Those, oh, that, that, that's from uh, the Ant Farm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Look, look, look at these. That's pretty dope. And let's just go ahead and look at the trading cards. So we got three uh, trading cards. In classic tops fashion, we have... Little peewee there. We'll get the little blurbs. And of course, on the back of these, they build like pretty cool puzzles, but with like the peewee style artwork, which I freaking love, man. Like seriously, peewee's playhouse like is one of my all-time favorites as a kid. Like it was so ahead of its time. And very educational too. It's dance time. Here's the stickers. Oh yeah. You got Pee Wee there. You got the uh, the window. You got one of the, the cool cats from like the, the the jazz band. It's pretty awesome. And then an activity card. Oh, it's one of those uh, hologram like cards. So it's like Pee Wee there and like Jambi there. Mecca like ha, mecca ha ne ho. Huh? That's pretty dope. And lastly, we have the activity card, and this is pretty cool. It's Pee Wee's Guess Who. So it's pretty much, it's like a, a, look at this, it's like a little skeleton mask thingy that you would put on. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty dope. I love that. Man, these are so cool ahead of its time. So there you go. That was uh, everything we got in our Pee Wee's Playhouse Fun Pack. Well, there you have it. That was Earth 2 Kentucky. And like I say, if you're in the Newport, Cincinnati area, this is definitely worth the trip in Ben's Some, Especially if you like retro, originality, nostalgia. It's everything that I love and I know you love too. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of The Hunt. And as always, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you on another episode of The Hunt.